Hello and welcome back to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel where of course we're giving you all the latest news, views and opinions on all things Albion. We're back again today here at the Hawthorns for a huge game in the playoff race between West Bromwich Albion and Sunderland uh, and what a game it could be. I mean Albion just a point away from the playoff places as I speak. Uh, obviously a win would see them in to the playoff places for now. Uh, of course with a big game against Norwich uh, coming up on Saturday. Um, Sunderland of course in the similar boat just a point behind us so possibly uh, they'll be looking to get into the playoff places as well um, but Albion yeah have won two of their last two games so back to back wins away from home against Stoke City and Blackpool and all of a sudden we look right back in the race so yeah this is a game that I didn't think would have much importance at this point so I thought we were done after Easter of course in the last vlog against QPR you'd have seen that and I thought that that was it um, for us uh, in terms of playoff places but somehow we're back in the race and a big game that Sunderland come in so make sure you subscribe comment your thoughts on the game below and let's head to the Hawthorns for West Brom versus Sunderland you're watching the Baggies podcast YouTube channel for match previews match day vlogs match reactions and more make sure to subscribe to the Baggies podcast YouTube channel I'm here at the Hawthorns for West Brom versus Sunderland. Just the one change to Carlos Corbrand's starting 11 heading into this afternoon. Um, we've got a return of Akaya Kushlu in midfield in place of um, Nathaniel Chalabai, who of course is not in the squad. Um, he's injured, uh, seems like he's going to be injured for a little bit of time. So Yakushlu's coming for him, which is interesting and obviously a big boost for having starting 11, somebody that we've missed quite a lot um, in the midfield, having that presence. And of course, uh, he's very good at keeping the ball as well. He's, uh, obviously, ball winning is probably his main attribute, but obviously keeping the ball as well is obviously big for him too. So looking forward to seeing how he gets on. Hopefully he stays on for the whole 90, which isn't always the case with our, our Indians players at the moment. Um, as for Sunderland, obviously, big game for them as well in terms of playoffs uh, along with Albion. So it'll be a very uh, competitive encounter here at the Hawthorns. Um, Carl Bartley's also on the bench, uh, just to add to the team news. Obviously, Taylor Gardner, he, when he scored against Blackpool, uh, he's on the bench as well. Didn't quite earn himself a start, but yeah, it's all looking good with the return of Hugh Kushlu and, and fingers crossed Albion can get a result. But yeah, it's West Brom this Sunday here at the Hawthorns.
there we go then, Baggies fans. Bit of a disappointing display, let's be honest. Um, I'd say we probably lost to the better side uh, on the day. And that was that's disappointing, really. I think, you know, if you can't really get yourself in, into a, you know, a decent performance against the side that you're vying for a playoff position with, then I think, you know, it's going to be very difficult in the playoffs if we do get there. And I think at the moment, after that defeat, it looks a little bit more unlikely. Still not impossible, but... You know, not too very, not very, not not that likely anymore. Really, let's be honest. We needed to win that game. Probably needed to beat Norwich as well, just to stand a chance. And you know, we haven't managed that. And that's, you know, I think Sunderland obviously made their changes, the positive changes. And I think that we looked to react to their changes rather than making our own. And that's that's disappointing to me. Um, yeah, I thought the atmosphere at the game was really good. First of all, just wanted to say that for Albion fans. I thought, especially for the first half, I thought brilliant. I'm sure that you saw um, plenty of the, you know, atmosphere in the vlog today. But yeah, I thought, yeah, just a disappointing, disappointing display to be honest. Um, you know, a game in which you needed to win, a game which the fans really needed you to win as well. Uh, and the players have obviously not put in the performance required. Thought there was a few unlucky moments, missed a couple of chances, and then Sunderland go at the other end and score. So two quick goals from Sunderland, and you know, Mowbray. Perfect Mowbray goals, I think, especially the second one where, you know, the left back's obviously taken uh, a run and floated into the box and ended up on the end of a on the end of a pass to, to, to loft it into the net. But yeah, make sure to go and check out my full thoughts on the match reaction video, which should be also on the channel now. So make sure you go and uh, check that out. Uh, if you just click the Baggies podcast down below in the in the YouTube section, uh, you can you can find that. But thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, comment your thoughts down below, uh, and I will see you in the next match day vlog, which will be next Saturday against Norwich City. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.